their teeth there as it would have been a very difficult retake. Uh, once that bomb would have if that bomb had gone down. Oh, and now the uh, back pushes from Titan have been called and found oh. out, but there's Kenny Edward too, oh. and a third as well, oh. and a fourth! Oh. Unbelievable play for Kenny! Oh and my god! Just two were ecos in the same vein, so. Astralis lose some money, but they will have a reinvestment. The device is all gone immediately. Kenny is quick. He's not even looking at them, and he's still firing off kills. Four for Kenny. Blinking, you miss it. This round is done. Astralis, oh my. They're made to look like fools by Kenny S. And G2 just a kill away from the fourth round. There it is. It's the ace for Kenny with the AWP as well. He picks it up and he knocks him down. Right. All they play for the retake. Charging in is Stewie trying to look everywhere. That was a very desperate play. And Kenny S takes him out, puts him out of his misery. NBK will fall to the CZ. But which way will they go? Kenny S is everywhere. Repeaking, automatic taken down. Players getting punctured. But it's only a one man advantage for G2. And no smoke to block off the connector. Oh, buddy, I thought for a second, but the timing is off. Kenny reigns supreme in connector and picks up the four frags. No, the ace in the end for Kenny. One HP. All right, and some actual... He can't get the flick in time. Kiyoshima is ruthless, taking down three players now. And it's just Rain left alive. He's going to find the quick kill onto Happy, but he's got Kiyoshima to contend with. What a frag there coming in, coming in from Rain. He's going to be pushing into the bomb site. The bomb is on his back. He's got the smoke for cover. So he can make the approach to the bomb site. He does have some time as well. He's going to try to get the frag onto the flanking player. The game sense from this man is unreal. There's still two more players to find though. Rain, he's going to get another one. MPK goes down. He's created a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got so much time to use as well. He's going to make his way back, back towards the, uh, the middle position. And he's going to try to trick his opponent right now. Apex though, oh my goodness gracious me, Rain is an absolute monster. This guy, definitely one of the smartest and most clutch players in the game. Going into phases, coffers. Oh, double smoked, big mistake. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Although they're coming right through and they're going to shut down Rain. Oh no! Oh my lord, he's just took down four people <laughs> in absolutely no time flat. It's Daps alone on the other side. What an absolutely absurd performance here. Now sneaking through on the other side, Daps is waiting and one more headshot! That's going to be the most ridiculous ace for quite a while. Oh, style points for Rain. Back away with his AWP. And now we see what sort of Astralis strats we were seeing in the beginning of the half. Were they able to just push around phase a little bit. And oh. I say that, Rain absolutely eliminates the threat and brings this oh. one back, a 4K for Rain. Howie, how has he done that? That is unreal, Rain just jiggling, wiggling around and now leaving it all onto Magisk. Now, surely in a round where Rain gets four, this cannot fall apart for FaZe. He has done all the heavy lifting. And now him and Brokey just have to finish the job. Magisk down with one. Rain needs the ace and he's oh. gonna get it. All five for Raid and a fourth on the board for FaZe on the back of just one match. So Halo and Nico gonna go straight in with Glaive to watch them off. Dupree to play at Bags could swing back in that direction because he isn't going to be pressured, but he doesn't know that. He's also flashed off. Deagle works though. Limited vision, limited it. weapons. Doesn't even matter, Dupree! Oh, the fourth as well! How sick is this round for him? And he's looking for the ace. The first ace from anyone on Astralis in this tournament. And now we're getting pumped. Okay, Dupree. Let's start into a run. He's oh, able to get another, and it's Masuda of everyone to take down. That's a big kill. RPK, also Dupree. The silent assassin. He hasn't even shown himself at all. To look for a third entry. He's looking to turn this entry into an ace. As Ziwu sits back, He's pistol gotta stop in hand. himself at this point for making too much progress. Dupree, he came into this round with two kills. I think he knows. Six shots, Watch honed in. Fire. And he's got him. Ace for Dupree off the B site. Joey, run it back. From the last series. Come through. These next two. Tip tap. Yeah. Did he? Oh. Did he get, where did he get the first kill? First kill was on a player by the looks of it boosting behind the orange boxes. So he was, he was, same They're place he got in the their second. comfort zone. Well, it begins with an opening kill from Dupree. NBK loses his head. And even despite that frag towards the A site, Astralis, they're gonna continue on this journey towards B, which is exactly where OG would hope they attack. We've got Valda boosted up on boxes. We've got a man back in the dark corner. 
And Device missing his chance at a clean opening kill here. Montu just one frag. Always the possibility of a threat to push through spawn smoke. Valda holding for now, does die to Dupree. And the last two members of OG, both over on coffins. Whoa, Zipix, the moment he plants that bomb gets killed. Low HP as well for Astralis. This is not a bad spot for OG whatsoever. They've still got the kit on Alexi B. They have to understand that these remaining players are pinned to the back of the bomb site. It's just a matter of getting clean kills, which has happened both directions. Dupree, Ooh. the ace in the pistol. Even as if one player is, is super carrying and everyone else is having a rough game. I mean, just no one has really stood up. Chris J's landed some pretty nice shots, but it seemed after that TK round where it's a 2v2 and he got the team kill and they lost, they just never recovered from that point. Nico, though, is going to have himself a handful of terrorists pushing his angles, whereas Olaf Meister at the back is going to be looking to rain down some power, but did Nico just land that through yep. smoke? Just a little tap there. Well, well Mouse Sports just getting no luck, of course. No. Just straight <laughs> reams through smoke. <laughs> well, that's the bomb down, at least. So there is a chance here. Kit's available for carrying. He's also got the smoke as well, which does make things a little bit more chaotic when the defuse does come in. Oscar knows he has to start landing shots, so they can't get too close, but Nico's just not missing a thing. Five versus three now. Oh, my goodness, Nico. It's just an absolute beast. He's going for it, boys. He's going for the ace. Four kills to his name. Rob, he's been taken down. And Nico lands the final net! In either site, and that reduces the places that the CT can hide on. Three more CTs left, Dennis and Nico. Key men here because they've got big armor, and Nico's putting in more damage. Well, what is that? No! Four kills! That is, you can't do this! There's only one more person to find! Down to the one versus one! Is he really gonna ace? Nico, there is a reason he's called the best player in the world, and I think we're witnessing it. Absolutely. He's not in the best position, but he lands the first shot. Smoke about to go down. The Molotov lands at car. Nico smokes it anyway. And now they're going to start to close in on his position. But Nico, oh, the flash was good, but he misses the shot. Gets it second time of asking. And Nico ducks back into the smoke. Somehow still alive. Nico firing on all cylinders right now. A third kill for him on the round. Nearly a fourth, but these Molotovs might be his death sentence. He's still going. Nico with a quad kill on the hold. And Contact just can't kill this man. Yeah, no, he he could still get the ace for himself at this point. There is the flank, though, coming in, and also everyone else just getting ready to swing from the bomb site. All right, Otto gets one. At this point, they're like, yeah, let, let's not. Let's wait for Cold Zero to get into position here on this flank. Let him try and make it play himself and uh, eventually just have Nico peek out to go ahead and confirm the ace. Indeed, just fantastic. I just think we're so blessed. Inferno, best yeah. of three. It, I mean, again, third the two best, best teams three. in the world right now. And to get to a third map, I just think it's everything you could possibly want here. Vice, I don't know, the bell is ringing. Might be the train bell, but certainly ringing for Astralis right here. One versus four, and he's going to get a headshot. Oh, what? No way! Oh, peeking up before the flash has gone off, Jaquinho. You just gift wrap that across the device, and they're just going to be spilling in one by one. Device will not miss these chances. He's at the buffet, and he's devouring Fnatic without any issues at all. 15 kills already. Make it 16. Why not? And the smoke keeps him alive from upper. Make it 17. And he could even finish it off, and he does with a beautiful ace. Those fights are about to come over. Device is even here to help out. And that AWP, while it is good for one, they give it the respect to get back to the car. That might be their undoing. The short play now from Twists. Oh, oh Device reads what? it in with the flick. Burning alive oh. and the collateral in the flames. The ace for Device. And what a way to put up 14.